Hello Hancock fans. You probably been wondering, been a couple of days, when is the Hawk going to get to the next part of his playlist here for Microsoft Paint? Well, that's today and I'm going to be showing you tools I wouldn't use with my coordination problems. You're going to find that if you have any coordination problems, I don't care if you paint, um, on a canvas, paint on a wall, if you cut with cardboard paper, if you use a computer, there's going to be things you use or things you don't use that maybe other people do use because of your physical limitations. So to start with that, but also to show, also to show you opportunities with tools, I'm going to start with making a triangle here. Very poorly, I might add, with the pencil tool. Now you know why I use like things like the triangle shape. There's another. There's one tool I wouldn't use. Now, here's another tool I wouldn't use because the eraser tool. <laughs> you know what? Let me make that triangle bigger. Yeah, let's do this one. bigger triangle it is. I want you all to be able to see this. As you can see, my triangles tend toward looking like Christmas trees are bad letter A's. But anyway, now... Here's the eraser tool, and you can do that. But you have the same problem. I'm rather inconsistent, and it's just a bunch of circles to erase. You know me, I'm not using that. Not no, but Christmas tree no. Instead, I'm going to borrow the crop tool. Humra, humra, humra. Let's do a correct selection. Now let's do crop. We're going to search. And so when you do crop, the part you select stays, and the part you don't select goes, at least in this program. In MS Paint here. There we go. There's my crop there. And that would be my favorite way to erase R. But anyway, we're going to get out of that now. Because let's just say we're going to stay with this thing here. And now I know I used it before, but let me use it in an actual lesson here. Let's fill in the tree. Now, let's say I'm tired of standard colors. To heck with that. Well, that's where you have the color picker tool here. And you have the edit colors. So you can choose something besides basic colors. You can make custom colors. So we take the so picker. No, we take the picker tool here. Let's try this again. Picker tool, color palette. Now we move over to here. And we're going to try an off orange here, almost tan. No standard orange today. So we choose OK. And so if we wanted to, we could have the picker tool go back to standard colors, or we don't. We can now do this. Um, and then you can just have the fill tool. 
fill in that. So fill in our non-standard color. Now, let's just for the heck of it say we're keeping that. But we want to put some text beside it, so I'm going to try this with new layer. And then see if it will... Okay. So there we go. We've got a new layer. Because we want some white here. And we're going to take the fill tool. We're going to choose white. Hey, you know what? White just blanked out the tree. So we're going to undo that. No, white didn't blank out the tree. Well, let me try this again here. That's not going to work, so we're just going to delete that. Delete layer. But there we go. We changed the size, and now we've got our white. Now, let's go ahead and go back in black. Little ACDC action. Go up to, we're going to need a larger size for our font here. Let's go up to 22. Now we're going to write Crooked Colorful Christmas Tree. Crooked Colorful Tree. Let's try that. There we go. So now we've got that. And um, if we want to zoom in here because we're considering correcting the tree more, which I'm not going to do, we can zoom in here and notice the error at the top. So this is some of the stuff you can do with these tools. Um, eventually, I will go, I will switch over to a tool I'm much more experienced with, which will help you, and I'll decide to teach Paint Shop Pro. But I just wanted to see what's possible with the default to art tools that come on a computer. Not everybody goes out and buys their own art program. Not everybody likes the online ones. So what do you got on your own computer? So hopefully you're enjoying this and it's useful. And uh, my oddly colored tree brightens up your Sunday if you watch this on a Sunday. I'm recording this on a Sunday. Anyway, have a great Sunday, and I hope this was useful. And next time, I'll be trying to use brushes, the next brush size, which I think just controls the size of, oh, the pen and all the different tools. And I'll even show you something cool you can do with an eraser. You can use that to apply color. There's only one way to do it, as I found out from watching other YouTube videos today. And it's not the obvious, which you would think would be the obvious. But anyway, yes, the eraser tool has a little function if you can get a little uh, straight line action out of your coordination. Anyway, enjoy this and have a great day.